morning, Ben Hogan here with Emma Roger reporting from the Kennedy Space Center. We are here today to cover the mission to Mars. This is Kenley Adamo, an expert on rocket ships. Can you tell us about the spacecrafts? Uh, a rocket ship is like an airplane, but it goes into space. In the mid 20th century, we created a machine that escapes Earth's gravity and atmosphere to help us explore what's beyond. The first rocket ship to take astronauts to space was in 1960. Do you have anything else you would like us to know? Rocket ships are important because it brings astronauts to space so they can learn about our solar system. Let's turn it over to our panel and explain why we are not going to Sun, Mercury, or, or Venus on this expedition. We could never go to the Sun because the Sun is a burning star. This means it's really hot. We can never go to the Sun because the Sun's Temperature is about 10,340 degrees Fahrenheit. That's way hotter than Earth. Another reason we can't go to the sun is because the sun is made out of hot gases. It will melt anything that went near it. We can never go to the sun because the surface of the sun is way flat. We can't land our spaceship. And we can, can't Go to the go to Mercury because it is too close to the sun. We can't go to Venus because it is the hottest planet in the solar system. We will be taking off for this adventure right after this commercial break. Galileo was the first person to look up in the sky with a telescope. With it, he discovered Saturn's moons and four of Jupiter's moons. They even call them the Galilean moons. Imagine what you could do with the latest telescope. You could discover more planets, rings, and moons. You could have a new planet named after you, too. It costs you just 79 99 But wait, there's more. You'll get a poster of things I discovered. He discovered. Act now. Call the, call the 800 number in our ears today. Let's talk with some experts that have been to outer space. I've been to I've been to the moon. Did you know that the moon is made of rock and has mountains? The moon also has craters. A crater is a hole in the moon. On the moon you can also find volcano sentence think that they lasted and erupted during the dinosaur age. The moon is the Earth's satellite. A satellite means to orbit something. The moon has phases. Full moon is one phase of the moon. In a full moon, the sun is hitting it just right so that you can see the uh, see all of the moon's shape. The moon also has a new moon face. You cannot see a new moon. You get a new moon every month. Now let's hear about one of one of the most famous astronauts that have been on the moon, Neil Armstrong. first man to walk on the moon. He took his first steps on July 20th, 1969. He is famous for saying that is one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. We are going to talk with some Earth experts that are going to tell us about what astronauts will be looking for on Mars. <laughs> Here on Earth we have water. This, they will need water on Mars. 
Earth's surface is 71% water. Earth also has plant life that the astronauts will need. We will be looking to see if Mars has plant life to feed the astronauts. On Earth, we have oxygen. Oxygen helps us breathe. We're hoping to find the oxygen on Mars. That would be amazing. Lastly, Earth is known for human life. We would like to see humans on Mars that are just like us. Send it to Mission Control to talk with more scientists. I use it. We're going to Mars because we want to see if there's life or liquid water on Mars. Mars is sometimes called the red planet because of the iron on Mars' surface. Mars also has a volcano and a canyon. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off. Come to the Kokosaki Athens Planetarium where you can see stars and constellations that we can see in our night sky. You can see 88 different constellations like Orion, and the Little and the Big Bird. Stars make up constellations. The hottest stars are blue and green. The yellow and orange stars are medium temperature. The coolest stars are red and white. Constellation is a group of stars that make different kinds of shapes and pictures. Constellations have different stories that go with them. Do you know there's a constellation named Orion? He is a good mixture of his sister and the northern star. Orion is a good man. He has a thought of two stars. So come see us today and you can learn more about these exciting beams of light. Let's check in with our astronauts on their mission to Mars. Did you know that Mars is being explored with rovers? Yeah, rovers have cameras that take pictures of Mars. Oh, I see an asteroid. Did you know Giuseppe Piazzi found the first asteroid in 1801? The asteroid belt separates the inner and outer planets and is made of millions of asteroids. Asteroids are small solar system bodies made of rock and metal that orbit the sun. On a related note, scientists have come together to debate in a town hall where our next mission should be. There will be a rep representatives from Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, and Pluto trying to persuade the NASA community why their planet should be the next planet for human exploration. We should go to Jupiter because... Jupiter is the biggest planet in our solar system. You can fit about 1,300 Earths inside it. It's so big, in fact, you can fit all the other planets inside Jupiter. We should go to Jupiter because it's a gas giant. And it is, mo it is mostly made of gas. We could see if there is oxygen in there. Also, we can learn more about the weather, because Jupiter has the great red spot. That storm, that storm, a storm like a hurricane that lasted more than 300 years, and it, it is a humongous storm that can fit three Earths inside it. There's a little red spot too. Jupiter at least has 60 seven moons. The moon Europa has a thick layer of ice over an ocean of water. We, sh 
if we go to Jupiter, we could see if there's life in that ocean. Um, uh, Io, uh, also Io has lots of volcanoes. With 67 moons, we don't know what we could find there, and more moons are being discovered. Now let's talk with experts from Saturn and see if they can persuade us to go there instead. Saturn has at least 56 moons or more. Wow, that's a lot of moons. Titan is the biggest moon. Saturn's core is hotter than the sun's surface. Saturn's core is made of helium and other gases and rock. Saturn is the sixth planet from the sun and the second largest planet. Saturn has 10,000 rings or more. It is made of ice, dust, rocks, and empty space too. Saturn's day is only 10 and one half hours long. That is much shorter than a day on Earth. Experts from Uranus would also like to jump discussing Uranus as many fascinating facts. Please share with us why we should travel to Uranus as our next mission. It has 27 moons that can be explored in the next mission. Uranus has 13 amazing rings. Some are made of dust, gas, and ice. But we have no idea what some of them are made out of. That will be awesome to explore. It is four times larger than the Earth. That would mean more area to explore. Since it is an ice giant, NASA would have to create ice suits and boots, which they have never done before. For Uranus, it's cold. Its orbit takes 84 years to 42 years of dark and 42 years of light. Uranus gets its color from melting gas and how hydrogen helium. Let's explore how much of each gas there is. Back to you, Emma. Breaking news. Two scientists have discovered a new comet. Did you know that comets are balls of frozen gas, rock, dust, and ice. They are very far from the sun. Uh, comets often have two tails. One tail is blue, the other is white or pink. Comets move much faster than Asteroids and comets always on the sun. Experts from Neptune will try to convince us to explore their planet. We should explore Neptune to find out what's under the deep dark clouds. Maybe there are oceans under them. Neptune is made out of gas. We should explore it to find out more about what kind of gas it is made out of. Neptune has the strongest weather out of all the planets. We need to explore Neptune to find out more about this bad weather. For our final group, experts from Pluto are here to persuade us to explore their dark planet. A dwarf planet is a planet that is too small to be a true planet because it has not cleared its orbit from other objects. Although Pluto is bigger than Mercury, it is still considered a dwarf planet because objects in its orbit. Did you know Pluto was discovered in 1930? It was considered a planet until 2006 when it was renamed a dwarf planet. Today it is 11 years old. 
And Pluto was named by an 11-year-old girl after the Roman gods of the underworld because of its distance from the sun. Pluto is the ninth planet from the sun. Also, did you know that Pluto has five moons on it? Wolf's moon is even bigger than Pluto. Very interesting. I also know that Pluto crosses Neptune's orbit. Since Pluto is the farthest object in our solar system, it is called King of the Kuiper Belt. Even though Pluto is the smallest planet in our solar system, we believe it's one of the most fascinating planets. They are an exploding star, and they are very big and dark. The gravity, its gravitational pull so strong that anything would get sucked in. The black hole would stretch the object and make it longer. That gives us a lot to think about. Let's do a final check-in with our astronauts traveling through Mars. We're now heading back to watch the final, final descent to Mars. Just as Neil Armstrong said back on July 20th, 1969, one small step for man, one giant step for all mankind. That's all from Kennedy Space Center. We'd like to thank all the experts on, and wish our astronauts good luck on their mission. Good night and see you tomorrow. This production was brought to you by the Solar System Experts at Saki Elementary. Thank you for watching.